So if you want to have the explosion as well, this or this material, then we need to make another um, particle system. And we'll add that to that and we'll call it explosion. And that one we want to have um, that's for like point seven. And then looping, no. Start lifetime. Or let's do the same delay too. Point one. Start lifetime, we'll do the full lifetime of point seven. And the speed, we can leave the speed the same. We want it to go kind of fast. Start size, we'll do point three. No rotations, and let's see if we go ahead and add our material down here. Don't look right at all. That's because of a couple things. One, we made it the uh, you know two by two or whatever, so we need to change this to reflect that from one by one to two by two, and leave it as whole sheet. Cycles one is good. This little graph is cool. Um, that's it for that, and just to make them like look where we can do rotation over lifetime. I don't know. I always like doing like rotations with the between two constants and like a big constant size over lifetime. Let's go ahead and make it a slight um, incline that they grow a little bit. That is so that we have a straight line. I actually don't like this uh, curved line. All right, that's better. Um, okay, so that'll be the size over lifetime. We'll have it grow. And then, you know, it's an explosion, so not so few. We need to change the emission to something much bigger. Um, Try, I don't know, like 200. Kind of. And then we need to change the shape from a cone because it's an explosion, which is a sphere or a circle or whatever. And this is going up, so we'll change it to sphere. And then I actually have a note, and 2.55 is the sphere I want to use, I think. And then so that kind of starts getting more explosiony. Um, let's do the color over lifetime as well so that towards the end it'll fade out. And then let's change this to 500. So that's pretty much it. It'll always face you. So then if you don't like that it's too um, clear, you can go like this. And then go ahead and you can change the size if it seems too small. And then have a bit more. I think it needs to be kind of uh, see-through the whole time so that it doesn't um, overshadow the text. And then I also think that it does have to be kind of small. And then we can go. This actually looks really cool. It's got nothing to do with making this quite right, but say they swirl. So if you ever want, like, I don't know, some sort of cool swirly particles, if you just random direction here, it's cool. That one. And then, yeah, so that's it for that. Um, so now when we play it, it'll look like that. Boom, kaboom. Um, 
if you turn off the explosion, then you have that one. And so, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Sorry about the uh, lack of videos recently, but we do have some more coming out. We're going to be doing another character controller, version 2. It'll have a lot more uh, input and stuff that Aaron is working on. And um, we're working on making another game tutorial as well. So stick around. I'll try to shoot out some stuff if anyone watches this and there is anything in Unity that is um, graphical rather than uh, programming. Uh, shoot a comment and I will uh, do that. I just don't know how to program very well, but I can do terrain, I can do particle effects or whatever. And that kind of stuff. I also have some experience in Maya if anyone's interested in any of that. Photoshop, After Effects, or whatever. Anyways, cheers. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.